Sairam friends, this is Venkat for Sasa Rakam. In this beautiful Saiwa temple here in Coimbatore, it's going to rain. I mean, it is raining, it is raining. And uh, after a few minutes, I'll be going there and uh, sweeping the temple. Okay. Uh, 10 days back, I made a video saying that I had a dream uh, in which I saw Rahul Gandhi. He was climbing a staircase and I'm telling him uh, you will be a successful politician. And he is uh, uh, having a disbelief, which is like he's not taking to his head, but he's smiling at me. So I posted it and many of you have consumed it. Thank you so much for that. Um, I made another video after that and I deleted it. The reason is that when you make some kind of uh, videos like this, the other people also will come and start to comment. So I don't want that to happen because this channel is dedicated to... When I say Sai, you know, my intention is not at all to make videos about this puja, uh, divorce and all those things. Because I have, I have always, always focused on addressing people, addressing ordinary people, addressing people who have uh, struggled in their life. It could be relationship problem. It could be problem they are facing in their education. It could be the most improper problem is the problem they face in the job, the career. Okay. And I know the last uh, 10 years, how many people have become, have struggled to earn their living. So you are forgetting because many people who are working as a vice president, sitting as an NRA in a very good job, earning good money, they will never understand uh, the struggles of lower middle class people and that is why I had to have a political uh, curve in my videos. Anyway, this video is uh, about a father, about the greatness of a father. This happened in 2018. Me, my mother and my uh, father were returning from the US. Uh, the flight landed and then it was around, uh, uh, you know, in Chennai airport it was... Um, we stayed in our sister's home and then we returned. So it was around 12.30 at night, uh, 1 o'clock, some, some, you know, at night. And, uh, you know, I basically sweat a lot. <laughs> you know, some, someone sweating in the daytime is fine. See, now it is dribbling. Can you see I am sweating? And I, my body is like that. My father, as soon as we landed, my I was like behind my father and my father noticed me. I was like sweating like he said. It is Chennai, I understand, but it is night, one o'clock, and you are sweating like this. And he started arguing with me. Why are you? We just returned from the US and um, going to stay in our latest home for the next two days, and uh, we are plan plan to take a train to Coimbatore. So that was our plan. But he is he started uh, you know arguing with me, shouting at me, saying that how can you sweat in the late night? How can you sweat in the late night? You have to go to a doctor and you know check it check it out and he has always known that and suddenly why this topic propped up late in the night in the airport i was annoyed with my father i told him it is i am sweating what can i do for that okay in 2021 my father passed away every day the, I, not a single day passes by without remembrance of my father yesterday you know here I will tell you, you know, after a few minutes, I'll be going here inside this temple. You know, can you see the temple? Okay. On the last few months, every day I'm going inside the temple at a sharp at 8 o'clock, I'll be sweeping the temple, me and one of my friends. I have to be in the temple to sweep the temple. Okay. I love that work so much. I Yesterday I was wearing a very light kind of shirt it, and it was like light in a sense, a plain shirt and the whole body was sweating and it was, this. it is summer, but it is... It is not bad in Coimbatore. It is actually raining. But I was sweating like anything and two, three devotees who who knew me very well and uh, at least five people, they asked me, why you, why you are sweating like this? Why you are sweating like this? And I have always been like this. Maybe the shirt was like that yesterday. It sewed up. It sewed out very badly. And um, I felt very much embarrassed because I cannot stop myself from doing this this small work I am doing for Baba sweeping the main hall in the temple. Not much. I love doing that. And when people were asking why you are sweating like that, what can I do? I am sweating like that. But I felt embarrassed. Then I went to my home in the night at uh, 9.30, I reached my home. I told my mother that Papa asked me back in 2018 when I... Uh, uh, late at night when I was sweating in Chennai airport, he was uh, scolding me, why you are sweating like that, why don't you show to a doctor? Now I realize the greatness of a father. A father doesn't want a third person to question you. Uh, a father doesn't want, uh, you know, someone XYZ to question you. It should not be your, your, your distant relative, your close friends or, you know, 
someone your uh, your your colleague they should not question you they should not comment on you about your body or your uh, your career or your life a like father wanted to fix things but when we when he cannot fix things uh, he will actually scold you so i told my mother that you know i didn't understand why appa was scolding me late at night looking at me sweating like that but now when four five people in saiva temple where i go every day they were questioning me you know i felt a father doesn't want a third person to question us so why i am saying this when your mother or father is arguing with you or questioning you or uh, maybe you feel that they are hurting you remember one day they won't be here to question you and the world will be questioning you make sure you fix things before the world starts to question you i still will sweat <laughs> that my body is like that what can i do for that and if you want to serve sai baba so a good quality politician someone who is really a good uh, worker you know if they call it a word that is there is a word called workmanship and if you want to serve sai baba you cannot look smart at all be very clear about it because i have been doing all this stuff for the last 20 years in sai baba temples If you want to look smart, you cannot serve in a temple. If you want to look smart, you cannot be running a, you know, serving Sai Baba at all. You have to accept your uh, negatives. You have to expect, accept the 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 the, uh, the other side of your life, and you have to move on. That is it. I want to share. I hope you got the message of what I am trying to convey. Love your parents, no matter how. uh how harshly they is you know there might be little arguments here and there in your life but take care of them because some day when they are not there you will uh, remember them deeply om sai ram om sai ram om sai ram